This project is sponsored by PCB Way. PCB Way is one of the most experienced PCB manufacturing company in China in field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They provide completed PCB assembly service with worldwide free shipping and ISO 9001 quality control system. Also, on their site there is an online Gerber viewer where you can upload your Gerber and drill files to render your board. So, if you want to make a PCB for your electronic project, PCB Way is a great choice for you. Visit their website and www.pcbway.com for more services. Hello, this time I will present you how to make an AM FM radio based on radio module with TEF66A6 chip from NXP. This miniature module has amazing possibilities, great sensitivity and selectivity, adjustable DM phases and filter. It has an output uh, analog audio left plus right or MPX depending on the configuration. Also this module has an I2C communication protocol, so the simplest way to communicate with a personal computer is an Arduino microcontroller with the appropriate code uploaded. For the PC there is an application called X, uh, XDR, XDR GTK through which we control the module. I mounted the miniature module on this proto board so I, uh, so I could connect it to the Arduino more easily. So to make a complete radio receiver we need only a few components. Radio module with TEF6686 chip. Next, Arduino Nano microcontroller, uh, two capacitors, audio jack and cable, and personal computer. Now I will describe the whole procedure in detail. First of all, let me mention that on the internet you can find more Arduino codes from different authors and also versions of the uh, XDR GTK application. I first tested almost all of them. And this is this time I will describe only one way, which at least in my specific case was the simplest and worked best and most stable. On the given GitHub page, it has everything we need for this project. First, about the Arduino code. There are two types of radio modules with F. Uh, 868605 and second with F8602 uh, chip version. In my case it is F8602 chip version. Similarly the appropriate code is uploaded, is uploaded to the Arduino microcontroller. How to, op how to upload the code has been described many times before in my videos and there are also great tutorials online so we will skip this step. Uh, next the TEF uh, GTK uh, version 112 application should be installed on the PC. Uh, actually you just need to unzip the archive to a certain location and extract the shortcut to the desktop. Uh, now we need to determine on which port is installed the Arduino microcontroller because we will need this information later. In my case this is port COM 6. Uh, the consumption of the tuner module is about 100 milliamps so we can power it directly from the microcontroller. 
Uh, now we start the PC application and select the communication methods. In our case, this is serial port and we will choose uh, uh, COM port of Arduino microcontroller. Uh, we now press OK and the radio starts working on the frequency that we can previously define in the settings tab. In the central part, uh, you can see a graphic presentation of the quality of the reception signal. Uh, as we see, this is a stereo signal with, with RDS. We can read RDS, RDS here. Uh, on the settings tab, we can we can set the start frequency, signal colors, and RDS options, antenna options, logs, next keyboard shortcuts, 12 station presses, etc. The next super useful option is spectral scan which allows us to scan the entire FM area. So this is all FM, uh, uh, full FM band from 87.5 to 108 megahertz. Uh, TEF GTK applications also also supports external applications. One of them is station list application that shows the name of current radio station, the country from which is broadcast, the strength and location of repeater and other useful information. This is station list application and let's and let's see how functioning. As we see, this is Makedonsko radio. I live in Ohrid and repeater is about 6 kilometers from my city. Let's see other examples. John Radio, Albania. Play FM from Struga. Again, Makedonsko radio. 
Super Radio, Top Albania Radio, Makedonsko Radio Free, and Channel 77 Radio. Also a useful external application is RDS Spy, with the help of which we get detailed information about the RDS signal. And finally, a, a short conclusion. First of all, let me mention that for the FM band, I used a 147 MHz V-Dipole antenna for weather satellite reception as the closest option since I don't own an antenna for FM and for the AM area, I used so-called loop over ground antenna that works perfectly with my, with my amateur radio receivers. To my great surprise, the FM reception is excellent, even, even when I used a short wire of about 50 cm as an antenna. I was especially surprised by the sensitivity and quite solid reception of the distant FM radio stations. This receiver is superior to the Arduino radio receivers with RD, RDA and TAA chip that I have built and in my opinion, it is it also has better reception than the well-known portable radios from the brands uh, H, uh, XH Data, the Gen, Texan, Texan, etc., etc. Especially in terms of sensitivity, weak FM signals. However, the reception in the AM area is disappointing. At first, I suspected that it might be a defect in my sample, but the reviews I watched on YouTube mostly described the FM reception and for the AM area, reception of local middle wave station was briefly shown. In the following video on this, videos on this topic, I will show you how to make a several independent radio receivers with this small tuner module using Arduino and ESP microcontrollers.